The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoy Fort, Chapter 12 L. The archaeologists have jumped from one conclusion to another, like a rapid cham walk we read of a while ago, to account for vitrified forts, always restricted by the commandment that unless their conclusions conform to such tenets as exclusionism of the system, they would be excommunicated. So archaeologists, in their medieval dread of excommunication, have tried to explain vitrified forts in terms of terrestrial experience. We find in their insufficiencies the same old assimilating of all that could be assimilated, and disregard the unassimilable, conventionalizing into the explanation that vitrified forts were made by prehistoric peoples who built vast fires, often remote from wood, supply, to melt externally, and to cement together, the stones of their constructions. But negativeness always. So within itself a science can never be homogeneous or unified or harmonious. So Miss Russell, in the Journal of the British Archaeological Association, has pointed out that it is seldom that single stones, to say nothing of long walls, of large houses that are burned to the ground, are vitrified. If we pay little attention to this subject, before starting to write upon it, which is one of the ways of being more nearly real than oppositions so far encountered by us, we find that the stones of these forts are vitrified in no reference to cementing them, that they are cemented here and there, in streaks, as if special blasts had struck, or played, upon them. Then one thinks of lightning. Once upon a time something melted, in streaks, the stones of forts on the tops of hills in Scotland, Ireland, Brittany, and Bohemia. Lightning selects the isolated and conspicuous. But some of the vitrified forts are not upon tops of hills. Some are very inconspicuous. Their walls too are vitrified in streaks. Something once had effect, similar to lightning, upon forts, mostly on hills, in Scotland, Ireland, Brittany, and Bohemia. But upon hills, all over the rest of the world, are remains of forts that are not vitrified. There is only one crime, in the local sense, and that is not to turn blue, if the gods are blue. But, in the universal sense, the one crime is not to turn the gods themselves green, if you are green.